Welcome to another episode of Feature Friday. Today we're going to be talking about something really interesting that not a lot of people talk too much about because it might seem like there's only so much to say. This is the kind of stuff that's used to do locating and marking just to identify what is going on underneath the surface. And it's really important. It plays an important role in things. So we're going to talk about the different colors and the different types of marking paint products that exist out there. And then we're going to focus specifically on the stuff that we carry here, which is the Krylon Industrial Quick Mark line. So first and foremost, let's get into the main two major kind of divisions that exist with marking paint. So you've got your solvent based and you've got the water based. The main thing to consider when you're gonna evaluate which type of marking paint you're gonna need between the water or the solvent base is gonna be how permanent do you really need it to be? That's one major question. The other one is, is, is there gonna be close contact with people on this source? So your water base is gonna be generally better for the environment. It's gonna have a lower VOC, which is volatile organic compound. It's gonna have minimal order, it's definitely way less flammable, and it's got a pretty fast dry time, which is ideal. Now the downside of the water base is that the dry times are impacted by the temperature and the humidity, as generally it's just less tolerant of the application environment. So a lot of wetness, a lot of moisture can even make it fade away. It is water-based, so water actually is you know, what makes it kind of go away. That makes it ideal for cleanup, however, if you're wanting it to last a long time or to be really, um, you know, really resilient to the environment and really stick around for a while, that's where the water base has a little bit of that weakness. Now a solvent based has a greater sticking power and it's a lot more permanent. However, that is kind of due to some chemicals. Um, now, you know, it cures in the cold temperatures uh, and it is way more tolerant of the environmental impacts of things. Uh, so that makes it ideal if you really need this thing to kind of stick around and not go away anytime soon. But again, it is more chemical based. That's what makes it really stick around and that leads to volatile organic compounds again and makes it a lot more flammable, right? More chemicals, more flammability, just a higher hazard in general. And in terms of the cleanup, it's a little messier. It does require a solvent to remove it. So that does make it a little less appealing for some folks in terms of what's kind of going on out there. In terms of what paint to use, it's good to know kind of what the circumstance is around where the paint is going, right? Like we said, is it private properties? Um, you know, is it gonna be something that we're quickly spraying on the grass, doing the project and we want it to kind of go away? All those kind of things are things to kind of consider. Is the rain gonna be an issue? Or is this kind of something that's gonna be not so impacted by those kinds of things? Um, so those are just kind of different things to consider as far as, you know, which of the two products is ideal. So there's fluorescent colors and there's the aqua colors. So that's the American Public Works Association colors. So generally speaking, when you're looking at red, you're gonna think electrical power lines, cables, conduits, uh, lighting cables, those types of things. Your yellow is gonna be gas, oil, steam, petroleum, gaseous materials. Orange is communication, alarm signal cables, um, you know, conduits, those types of things. Blue is water, very simple. Green, sewage and drain lines. White is gonna be proposed excavation, limits or route. Pink is the temporary survey markings. And the purple is gonna be your reclaimed water irrigation and the slurry lines. Now, generally speaking, the aqua colors are gonna be more available in that wider gamut of things. However, fluorescent colors are primarily used when it comes to some of those purples and to the pinks. Um, so it just kind of does depend a little bit on what the application is in terms of which one you're really gonna need. Now we're gonna talk about specifically our line of the Quickmark paints, the Krylon Industrial Quickmark. So the Krylon Advantage, as we would call it, is that uh, it is a paint that's made up of an advanced UV resistant fast drying formula and it doesn't really have all those fillers that kind of make it kind of cheap and weak so it doesn't really fade in extreme sun it adheres to hot cold or wet surfaces and they generally kind of claim that it's got a 30 day fade resistance now of course there are some environmental factors in that especially when we're talking about the water based stuff. Now, according to the American Public Works Association, your ideal size for a locating line is gonna be about two inch in width and between 18 to 24 inches in length. Now, what's ideal is that the Krylon Quickmark heads uh, and the tip size is about a 0.044 millimeter. So it's wider than the average, which is typically about 0.22 to 0.32 millimeters. So this allows you to get a proper mark down on the first go as much as possible. And of course, compared to some of the other ones, you're not as likely gonna have to do a couple of pass-throughs. It's gonna be much cleaner first time around. And in high wind circumstances, it actually, the, the velocity in which the spray comes out for the Quickmark product is really powerful in such a way that on a 
high wind kind of day, you're not as likely gonna have to have as many issues with that kind of reapplication if need be. So that's kind of one of the major things. Now the high delivery tip is supposed to be non-clogging and easy to clean. Again, there can be some environmental factors in the cleanup around that, but generally speaking, it, it is a very convenient kind of spray head. And of course, one of the other factors to consider is gonna be your opening on the can. So this is something that a lot of people don't think about until they start really using these a lot and often. Now the benefit with the Krylon is that they have what's called the glove grip cap. So this is designed to have a much wider opening so that even if you got like a, a bulkier kind of work glove, you still have very clean easy access. Notice I, I literally don't have to pinch my finger into anything. It's very nice and wide. Uh, it's about 50% wider than most of the average kind of can products like this out in the market. So again, if you got bulky work gloves or anything like that, uh, this is gonna be ideal. You're not gonna wanna mess around with having the tight pinching or even having to rip your glove off every time you wanna do some application. Now, why care so much about marking paint? We get it, it's just paint, right? But that's the thing is that marking paint and locating is a really important kind of part of most construction or excavation projects. Because the goal of proper locating and marking is to maximize safety and eliminate damage. I mean, imagine the cost of a mistake or injury due to some faded or improper marking lines, right? So your white line starts to look a little orange because of some weird fading, or, or your red goes a little orange, those types of things, right? Like, it's important to keep that in mind, that, you know, a couple of bucks saved on a cheaper can product, but the overall kind of end result not being so stable, not being so reliable, that's an issue. And, you know, of course, here at Macmore, we're always, always tooting our horn about we want you guys to use a good product, something safe, something reliable. So that's why we kind of go with the Krylon Industrial line because of those Krylon advantages. Now, finally, no one wants to go around and do a bunch of remarking, right? So you want something that sticks around, something that's resilient. So that's what the Krylon Industrial products, they really toot their horn about that too, is they have that reliability. They have a product that really sticks, that really stays and has those nice dense lines. Um, so that's, that's ideal, right? You don't wanna have to go back and do all sorts of reapplication on this stuff. Save your time, uh, save the headaches, go with the good stuff. So that's our Feature Friday, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is the Krylon Quick Mark paint line. Uh, if you guys are looking for something like this, we highly recommend you hit us up. This stuff is flying off the shelf this time of year. So if you're in need of any of this stuff in a specific color, please hit us up, send us a message, uh, send us an inquiry. Uh, this is a really popular kind of product lined up this time of year it's really kind of flying off, like we said. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Hope you guys learned a few things today uh, or you got some nice refreshers if needed, uh, but that's about it. So thanks for tuning in guys. Have a great weekend and take care. We'll see you next time. Cheers.